All right, here we go. So, um, Sal and I, we're starting this with fingers two and three. Okay, now the next section, we come up here, bar on the 10th fret. Uh, this is tricky. We talked about experimenting with exactly where your index finger is. You may have to have it a little higher or a little lower. See where you have a good uh, fit so that you can manage to pinch, you know, you want to pinch the tip and this other end of your finger here to get uh, the B string and the E string, but then the fourth string is going to be the tricky one, and that's where sliding the finger around to find just the right spot uh, will prove helpful. So this part goes... Uh, acknowledge how the thumb is hitting the lowest uh, three strings throughout all of that. And then I come down here and I'm not even going to worry about getting the whole chord fingered yet. I just come down and I, I start with the bar by getting the sixth string and the first string. Then I start fretting the chord as I'm playing it. tricky. Uh, the, at the first part, there's no problem. But then here, whoops, here, we're trying to keep the third and the first finger down. Reach the middle, the middle finger was here on the fourth string. We're going to bring it up to the high E string. fingering that I have written down there I've, I've changed since then so I'll, I'll write something in the music about that but um, I, I favor 213 for this section at this point so at this point we're going to be wanting, wanting to practice a single measure at a time I'm switching each finger one at a time once it's needed uh, in the order that the notes are being picked. That way everything's still kind of ringing together as long as possible. So uh, once again... this. Actually, I'm playing, let's see, six, two, and six, three, and two. And then I lift my middle finger. And then play the high E string. And then I switch the bass note down to F sharp with my middle finger. Go ahead and 
build the chord one finger at a time. And I don't put my uh, third finger down on D until right now, where I'm playing strings uh, five and two. And then I slide that bass note up from B to C. That's about, that's enough.